Hey guys, what's happening? It's your boy Invis. Now, I know it's been a long time since I came out with a new video, had a bunch of stuff in my personal life, but nevertheless, I am here now. So, I'm going to start making some regular videos, and to start with, I wanted to come up with, or show you guys a new starter base that I have kind of discovered and absolutely fell in love with. So, I saw the doorless base video uh, and thought it was incredible and I wanted to kind of expand on that now it is a glitch and uh, or not a glitch but an exploit and I do feel that the exploit needs to be fixed meanwhile let's go ahead and utilize it so here it is so this is the new starter base that I personally love. Actually, it's gonna be kind of expanded upon over there. And I love that one over there a little bit more than this, but I wanna show you this one first. Okay, so let's go. So we enter in here. We have enough space for the box, the TC, the furnace, and the campfire. And the campfire can be turned on, but it cannot light us on fire. Now if we crouch we might be able to, yeah, but other than that we we don't need to worry about that. <clears throat> Alright, so you might be wondering what makes this so OP. Well, I'm going to show you that this piece here is what makes it OP. As soon as this breaks, that this wall closes. So as you can see, if somebody tries to come and raid you, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So typical bases will only be as strong as their doors, right? In this case, it's now as strong as the wall that you have it on. So you upgrade this to armor, and this is one OP base. And you're just going to make sure to break that every time you log off so that you aren't easily offline raided. In fact, a small base like this probably won't even won't ever get raided because the resources needed to blow into it is most likely not worth the resources that are inside of it. So most people will not raid something like this at all. Um, with that being said, you'll always have to make sure you have a bag outside of the center compartment. And that's where it can get a little bit tricky because you'll need the bag and then you'll also need to acquire uh, the blueprint, the wood, and everything. Just a blueprint actually and a little bit of wood, just 50 wood um, every time you want to get back into your base. Now you can leave this as is until you need to log off. Then you can even just come in here and you can shoot some arrows and break that piece and you're locked in here and you're good to go. So yeah guys, that is the new starter base. Now let me show you the upgraded version. Okay, this is the upgraded version. Now, normally you'd have obviously doors on this. The reason why I like this one more is because it's all compact very uh, nicely. Uh, you can put your bag in here. I have the furnace over here, and I'll explain why in a second. And a small box. And the small box is where I would place some wood and uh, building plan. That way, you can open this door and quickly throw up a, um, a roof piece, and you're good to go. Right? And then you have access to the rest of your base once you do that. All right, so you got your TC. You got your campfire right there. Let's turn that on. Let's turn that back. Oops. Turn that bad boy on, boom, and then we open this, and as you can see, we have a ton of boxes in here, four large boxes and three small ones. Now, if you place the boxes before the TC, you probably could line it up so that you can place large boxes up there as well. I'm not going to worry about that on this go around, um, but I will be making a video on that later. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and showcase how to actually build this. Okay, so this base is extremely easy and very cost efficient to build. So let's go ahead and get started. 
What I typically do is build a 2x3 and I'll show you why in a second. Then from there, just upgrade everything to wood for now. You can upgrade it to stone later. Uh, I don't think you really need to upgrade more than stone. Nobody's really going to be foundation wiping this, and it's going to be so low that they're not even going to uh, be able to gain access to that to do damage. So theoretically, you actually could leave this wood uh, if you wanted to. But nevertheless, let's keep going. Slap this one on first, then this, then this one here. Um, actually, uh, if you want to do the short one, you're good to go like that. Um, but I'm going to skip that and do this one because I like this one more. Alright, now right here we're going to switch to the half wall. And we're going to do two of them. Boom, boom. And that's going to allow us to put the shelf down right there. Um, okay, I'm gonna put the roof, and then you start upgrading. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is put a door frame here eventually. You can start off with it right now if you would like, just so you have uh, protection in case you're in a hostile area. So, we're going to upgrade to wood for now. You are obviously going to want to upgrade to either stone or sheet metal. Um, this one I would absolutely do sheet metal as soon as you can. But since this would be your starter base, you most likely would not have access to that. That's why I'm doing it in wood right now. Okay. So that is everything necessary to get started on this. You can expand on it later by doing another wall there and a door here and then a uh, actually a roof piece right there and then just upgrade it boom, boom, boom. at that point once you do this upgrade you'll have enough for stone to be able to afford that all right so continuing on over here we're gonna go ahead and put the boxes down Slap a couple in here. And then you can fit small boxes down here. Actually, I wonder if you can fit four. so close oh note to yourself you can fit four boxes straight across all right so let's go ahead and put that wall that floor piece in there we go upgrade that bad boy and then let's get two more boxes Now, most people would jump up, but because of the roof, you actually can't gain access to the second floor of this. So just keep that in mind that you're not going to be able to jump up there. So that, this, you're just going to have to get as close as you can, jump, and just keep pressing until you have it placed down. Like that. And now you're good to go. So you have a ton of boxes. You can still put up a door frame on this one without a problem and upgrade it. Uh, upgrade it to sheet metal whenever you can, whenever possible. All right, and then let's put the TC. Let's put the TC up. This will only go up in the skinny direction. It won't go up uh, any other way. So that's the only way at which you can put that up. Now, unfortunately, there isn't enough space right there for the furnace. Uh, that would be ideal. 
but nevertheless we're gonna go ahead and put the campfire on this side actually so that when we have it on you can see all of the boxes as opposed to it being blocked by the TC <coughs> over here this is when you're gonna put the furnace over here boom and you can put another campfire, you can put another small box, and you put your bag, put a couple of doors up, and you're good to go. Okay, now, keep in mind when you're putting the door up to make sure to have it go inwards, because my friend Smiley actually showed me this. You cannot get past that. Absolutely impossible. So, that's a makeshift airlock. Now, they can still shoot at your TC and stuff. Uh, it'd be kind of pointless and a waste of a lot of ammo or time. Uh, and actually, it might just hit the door frame. It might not even hit the TC. So just keep that in mind. If you open this door and they kill you with the door open, they're never going to gain access to your base. They might come here and then try to break this and then walled off. So you don't ever have to worry about that. Alright guys, now the reason why you're going to want to upgrade this to sheet metal is because when you go offline, you don't want people to go ahead and just mess with you and backpick this wall and break the wall, the door, and the door lock. They can do that. Are they, are they likely to do it? No, because obviously it's not going to get them anywhere and they would just be wasting their own resources and their time. But there's a lot of punks out there that play Rust that would waste their time just to grief somebody else so make sure you don't waste your resources and upgrade this to sheet metal so that they can't do that all right now another thing that i absolutely love about this base as opposed to your traditional 4x4 is that this you can expand onto limitless and have it still be open within like i don't have to add another door at all all I really need to do is come over here and I can easily upgrade this by throwing up another roof piece right here prior to doing that make sure that you always have the foundations extended outwards before you do that and I'm gonna show you why in a second so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that so a wall, a wall, and a roof and you upgrade all of it and you're good to go. After you upgrade this, all you would need to do now is just kill your TC, build another one and relocate it right here. But now your base is even larger and just as safe. Lock it up, they don't have access to your base. Now the reason why you always want to expand this and upgrade it to something, probably stone, is because without it, if I throw a roof piece up here, like so, I can no longer expand this while the roof piece is there. But if I throw the roof piece, then I am safe and I can always expand further later on down the road. So always make sure, always make sure to add at least next to the roof piece one tile and you'll be safe and you'll be secured to expand your base at a later time. Alright guys, so I hope that you found this tip helpful. Uh, it is an exploit that I'm sure will get fixed very soon. Um, I'm also going to be showing how to turn this into a full-fledged base on the next video. Alright, you guys have a great one. Please slap that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications for new videos and new content that will be coming out soon. Um, and then also take a look at the Breaking Rust server, uh, one of the best servers out there. Alright, have a good one. Peace.